Welcome everybody to today's live stream slash recording. Uh, for those of you on recording, this is going to be Saturday, the 24th. Uh, obviously, for those of you watching the live stream, this is today, the 23rd. <laughs> so, uh, today we are on FS19, going to be getting some uh, building modifications done, uh, changing some things around, and inching ever so closer to having to put corn into the ground. Uh, a little bit later, we should be uh, joined by Jack and my wife, because uh, we have some shipments we need to send up to her so she can start getting animals going. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Such a nice, nice night. A little bit bright over there, but it's, it's... Ah, uh, good old Dom's charger. Alright. So, contrary to popular belief, I, uh, am not going to be running... Me! The auto drive for this segment just because of the fact that uh, just going over here to the store real quick and checking uh, some purchases I made I gotta drive down and get my truck uh, we no longer have teleporting in the server so now everything is more realistic you actually have to drive to where you're going Scary thought. Alrighty. So I picked up these uh, trailers here. Should be able to pull behind and add capacity to my uh, lanterns. Should be kind of nice. So I can just swap tanks out mid run if I need to. So, let me figure out where my truck is. It's probably still sitting down over here. Yep. All right, so it looks like I'm heading for the farm. Farm auto loaded. And we're off. Oh, good. So the guy came in um, and put up this shed for me. So now I have a wash station, which is rather nice. So I can actually get my trucks washed. Um. One thing I am going to do, though, is get on my PDA and order some interior spotlights for this thing. But anyway, so I'm going to send this on its way to the store. Go pick up that fifth wheel. And then I'll take my car over, get my truck, and do the same thing with it. So... I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, so I'm going to head down to the store now and go pick up my new stuff. So we'll see you guys when I get there. Alrighty. So I have just arrived at the store. Got my welders, the tanks. So I'm going to get somebody to help me load all this stuff up. And I'll be right back with you guys. Hang tight. All right, so now that we got all this hooked up, we're going to head on back to the farm. See you guys when we get there. All right, so got it to the farm. Me and Jack are going to go sell some diesel. Uh, the diesel plant. So 
So yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there. Alrighty, we have just now arrived. So we're gonna get this sold. See how much a tanker gives you. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go with like buck twenty. Huh. Not bad. Huh. Other than thirteen one twenty seven single tank. Get myself pulled forward here. I'm gonna go talk to Phil and tell him to turn the damn lights on out here because you can't see nothing. Thank you, Phil! <laughs> now that we actually have light, we can we see. Refuel and come back and sell more. Yep. I'll go get some more fuel. All right, now that we're all loaded up on diesel again, we're gonna head back. See you guys when we get there. Just gonna auto load some stuff, get some more money. So, as soon as we're done with this, gonna go fill up my tanks and we'll see you guys here in a little bit. Alright, so now that we're all done dropping things off, heading back. I had to do, uh, add that as a destination on the auto drive. So for now, it's now known as Farmer's Co-op. So should be able to, uh, be able to use Instead it now that auto drive's in. Instead of Stinky's Shell Station. Oh yeah, that's another thing I have to do is put all the gas stations back in. That thing was a pain in the butt. What? That the shell station. It was mm. a pain in the butt to try to get it lined up right. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I had a whole bunch of. I had four or five gas stations in all four corners of the map that were uh, publicly accessible. Um, I gotta freaking put those back in at some point. So, all right, well, I'm gonna get these off and get my tanks filled. So I'll see you when I get over to my tanks. All right, so now that I'm all back, just filling up my trailer here. Some good old diesel, so I can put it away. Jack's currently coming back with one of the two shipments to my wife. And he's going to be heading up with the other one here, will it? We'll see in a few. <laughs> Have a good one, Jack. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so after a slight mishap, uh, Jack's on his way now with the last load. All right, so now I'm on my way back over to the warehouse. Drop this back off. And then I'm going to be 
waiting for Jack's return. Aren't you looking up another trailer for me to take? Or is it just two trailers? Uh, it's just two trailers. We do have bales that need to go, but they won't be by trailer. Well, they'll be by trailer, but not by trailer. Truck, yeah. By, um, they'll be by, container. yeah, they'll be by flatbed trailer. So. Where do those go to? The bales? They go up there too. We need to add more weight to the ass end of that. You can't. That's literally all the weight. That's as heavy as I can get it. Oh my gosh. No, it's not designed to lift the big containers. It can lift the small ones, no problem. But the bigger ones, it has some problems with. So. All right. Oh. So we'll see you guys here in a minute. All right. So Jack has returned with this trailer. Loaded. Go ahead and get this dropped off. So now they got that loaded. Uh, Jack is on his way to go pick up his new truck. 
and we're gonna get some uh, bales ready to ship out. Some hay bales. So, go ahead and get that going. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, so here we are. We are now loading up some hay bales. Getting them ready to be shipped out. The truck is in the same state as the trailer. Both beat up and old, but still work. Yeah, run until it breaks sometimes, you know. Volvo empty. I think it may be. It is now. You want to bring that Volvo down and load her back up. I don't know where she goes to load, so. Uh, the big silo structure on the other end of this building. Well, right over on the other side of the balers. Chris, this is this is uh, <laughs> this is borderline. Uh, <laughs> this is stalkerish. Why are you in my truck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you see my GPS from in there? <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty nice. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Why are it all looks all nice and dandy? <laughs> Why? Yeah, the wiring is like nice and neat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all zip tied up together, taped all together. It looks all nice and good. How, how's my motor look? <laughs> can't move. <laughs> <laughs> you can't move? No. Uh, hold on, hold on, let me back up. Uh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> don't, don't move, don't move. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, uh, glitch yourself in that menu again. <laughs> we'll get you in this hood. <laughs> let me know when you're in it. I'm, gl I'm glitched. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> Joker powered. <laughs> oh, you should have ducked down. Oh, well. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing you're here, Chris. I've been hearing this weird rattling sound. I think my joker is broken. <laughs> How's it looking there? <laughs> you ain't got no motor. Oh. That might be why it's making weird noises then. <laughs> I see the motor. I see the fan for the motor. He ain't got no radiator, no motor, no motor mounts. Your four-wheel drive is completely off. <laughs> Joker! Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I will I will give you this welder if you come out and do some uh, repair and modification work on my vehicles. Okay, that sounds good to me. All right. Uh, are you gonna put it on a truck or you just wanna offload it in here? Hold on. Let me just stick out this menu again. <laughs> I was gonna say I can set it on these tables. I'm, I'm dancing on top of them to see if they'll actually hold it. They can sit on the tables. Yeah, cause you got this old ass freaking big mig Mac or big mig mag 300 in here. Yeah, it just recently burnt out on me. All right, well, let me back up this, uh, back up my truck, and we'll get the Miller offloaded for you. Yep. Welcome gaming from hell to the live stream. Hopefully you're, uh, Enjoying it. All right, so we got his uh, Miller offloaded, so hopefully he'll be happy with it. Now we're gonna head to the store, pick up my Lincoln. Got a Ranger 250 GTX that I'm ordering. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, see you at the store. All right, so now that we got all that done, I'm gonna head back on to the farm. All righty, so up here at my farm. Shift some stuff around here. Oh my god. What? What the heck? What? The whole freaking traffic jam. <laughs> There's a traffic jam? There's a traffic jam. <laughs> on my farm. There's a whole freaking traffic jam. What caused it? <laughs> Hold on, what if I... Is there is there a car there that blocked it or what? 
No, like these two trucks just like ran into the fence. <laughs> this one was kind of turn and go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. You're fired. <laughs> Give him the boot. This one's fired. Do I need to come down there? No, you don't need to. I, I can get it. Really? This lady does not seem that type. This is what happens when you let Chris do things his way. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's what happens when the tow trucks don't have a good turn radius. Yeah, we're gonna have to change the dust. <laughs> Man, that, the Kevlar just barreled that other one out of the way. He was like, get the hell out of my way, boy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big truck coming through. Hey, that's a big truck. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one just cut off. That one. I think you need a wrecker to fix the wrecker. <laughs> I think so. Man, your brand new trucks are just getting beaten up. Just going in circles. <laughs> that poor spe or heavy ops truck just doesn't know what to do. Nope. It's, it's just like in the middle. It's just... <laughs> it's like, I want to get out of here, but I don't know how to. I keep getting trapped. <laughs> wow. That's just freaking hilarious. Ugh. Are you going to stop him? Or just... <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of fun. Just watch him go in circle. <laughs> yeah, you probably will get out of there. <laughs> They're coming for you. <clears throat> wow. That's funny. That's rich. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess I need to go down there and help you <laughs> fix that. <laughs> oh, look, birds. <laughs> Why are they going in circles? <laughs> <laughs> All right, where the hell did my truck go? I just had it. Yoo-hoo. Duck. Hello. Oh, wait. Did I? Oh, there it is. Got so distracted, I lost my truck. All right, so I'm going to go help Chris. Let's see what do I get there. <laughs> All right, not sure exactly how that happened, but it did. So, went back, reviewed my footage, couldn't figure out exactly what went wrong. Just acted like I hit something. So, just gonna sit here with the vehicle. Just called for a tow truck. So, hopefully he'll be here pretty soon. Game time wise, it is now 6.29, so we'll see how long it takes for him to get here. Ling, ling, ling. Hello? Yes, is this uh, Jake with S312 Gaming Farm? Yes, it is. Okay, so you're the one that has the overturned F350 4x4? Yes, I do. Okay, well. The company is getting ready to pull into gate now, and I think I see on the left-hand side. Yes, I am. <laughs> you just see me jumping. 
Am I, am I the one that's seen you jumping up and down? Yep. Gotta do my jumping jacks, man. It's very important to stay in shape. Right, I'm pulling up to you now. Okie dokie. Alright, see you in a minute. Second. <laughs> I'll see you when I get there! Anyway. <laughs> Uh, hello, sir. How you doing? I've been better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of see that. So what? So what happened here? Don't ask. I don't know. I think the suspension might have broke on this side. Maybe. Or no. Maybe it was this side. Yeah, it looks like my strap might have snapped on this side. Let's see. If you think uh, you've seen something I'm crazy, Assault, I'm you ain't seen nothing bit. crazy. I'm kind of wiggling in it, and it looks like it's just a loose a tad bit. But I have some tools right here in the service body that I could probably tighten up for you. Okay. And if it's not fixable, then I could call the tow truck down here, and then I could just get a tow to the shop. All right. Let's, let's see what I can do for you today, and see if that one, if what I do, can get you back up and running. Fair enough. All right, let me go ahead and get loaded up and hooked up. You see these controls. Are these trucks new? Yeah, we just bought them today, actually. Oh, cool. We sold up. Yeah, we sold the old ones and then we got them today. That's good. New trucks is always useful. Yeah, the old the old ones were like back in the early 2000s and these are like between 2015 and up yep definitely good for an upgrade yep wow the game's not freaking out with the two being uh, close proximity to each other that's nice part is it takes forever to unload or to, un to unfold yeah well yeah hey right, can you go ahead and un unhook the hook for me please there you go
I think it needs towed. It's not having much acceleration. Alright, I can go ahead and send one of these these trucks back. And then I can bring down the flatbed, the low back. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and uh, he hooked her up just like that. So he's going to uh, tow that back and try to get her fixed up for me. So, bye truck. Get better. <laughs> and have my mechanics look at it and see what they can do. And then they should give you a call within a couple days. Alrighty. And I'll you. let you know when pretty much let you know when you're ready to come pick it up. Okay. Sounds good. Alrighty. Alright. See you soon. Alright. Owner of the company is gonna contact you and let you know how much it'll be for today. Alrighty. Alright. See you in the day. See you in the field. Ring ring ring. Hello? Yes, this is uh, Jake. Yes, yes it is. Hey Jake, this is Chris from uh, uh, HR. But, yeah. Yes, yes, this is Jake. Uh, yes, Jake, this is uh, Chris, the owner of American HR. Uh-huh. And I just want to call and let you know if you are be able to come in and take a look at your truck, we found a couple things that are wrong with it. Okay. And so I would like you to come in and like talk to me about it and see if we can go forward from there. Okay. Yep. So I'll be in my office and I will see you eventually. Alrighty. Uh, All right. See you soon. Thanks. Bye. Click. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to his shop then. And we're going to check it out. All right. So just got to his shop. Looking pretty nice of a shop of his too. I like that white truck over there. What the hell was that? What the hell? What the hell? Who hit me? Hey! Hey! Is there a problem? Yeah! Your dumbass driver just slammed into me! Oof. I mean, look, look, right. look, look at that damage! That is some primo damage right there! Sir, if you calm down... You know how much this sucker costs? If you will calm down, I might be able to help you out. Well, good, because I got a race tomorrow. How, how fast? What can you do? What can you, what, what, what can we do here? I can get you a brand new door tonight, and you'll be ready to go tomorrow. Okay. Might be I might be able to get a door for you in within a couple hours. All right. That sounds like a play. Uh... I want the name of that driver though. He, he needs fired. The driver is Don Smith. And yes, he will get fired because he clearly doesn't not know how to drive a freaking wrecker. When he's CDL certified. Yeah, clearly he has some issues. Either that, or he might either be drinking, or on drugs, etc, etc. But I'll go ahead and move this truck out the way for you. Oof! Is there any damage to the front of your truck? There's a little... little dent in the bumper. Man, that bumper looks pretty good shape. Ah. This little, little... Oh man, it folded the front panel too.
That's going to take a lot to repair. Look at that. Luckily, it just missed the header. Yeah. Alright, uh, what I could do for you is I'm going to open the second bay if you want to bring it into the second bay for me. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this inside. Alright, let's see what I have up here. Oh, ha ha. Sweet. Grab that, grab that. Oh, that stuff is kind of heavy. Set that right there, set that right there. Alright, so he just told me to take it around the side, not the front. This is the side for large, medium, and light duty trucks. Uh, so he has special lifts for that. So we're actually going to take it over onto the side. I guess he apparently has another three or some doors over here. Which I didn't even know. Oh, I'll just take it around over here. Need to give these guys a good rating on Yelp. Being able to help out like this, you know? Well, okay. Oh, that door? Okay. Yeah, bring it in here. All right, keep coming forward a little bit more. Good. All right, so we got some good news for you, sir. Okay. I just looked on top of the stairs with all the other car parts, mm -hmm. and yes, I do have a door and a quarter panel for you. Oh, good. It's not that same exact color, but we can paint match that color for you. Okay, well, I mean, you know, you can paint match it. That's fine. All right, well, if you come into my office right directly behind you, Okay. And we can get this place in situated. All right. Yep. Hey, is that cook machine work? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. I think it's um. Ooh, fifty diet. cents for it. fifty cent for e or like every soda. Yeah, I'm kind of. <laughs> Glitching here. All right. Uh, let's go diet. Okay. Cool. All right. If you give me one second. All right. All right, sir. What yes. is uh? Before I give you the information and stuff about your place, in, I'm gonna have to enter you into the computer. Okay. All right, can I have your first and last name, please? <laughs> My name is Jake Doohickey, sir. All right. Um, so the phone number I have on file so far, when you called in, is 555-525-5565? That is actually my cell. My business telephone is area code 521-634-5525. Okay. Okay. Alright. Could I have your address, please? 312 Forest Road. 312 Forest Road. Yep. 
Okay. Um. So, with the tow service, the repo service, for that you will owe us. Let me make sure it's correct here on paper. This is for your truck, by the way. Yes, I know. So... I kind of figured, because obviously you didn't tow the car. Your guy hit it. Yeah. Okay, so for the record, to unflip you would be 1500 for that, plus another 300 for the tow. So for that, you owe us 1800 for the tow. Okay. And then... Did okay, you happen to so, find out what was wrong with the truck, by the way? So... You said there's so, a couple so, couple issues with it. Yeah, the first issue is when the truck flipped, mm -hmm. the UV axle for the front row drive, like drive staff, mm -hmm. it kind of like broke and like, like smack into your transmission. So okay. that's why your transmission wasn't given its full power because the it lost its fluid. It lost its fluid and everything else. So the transmission. So a cracked bell housing. That's going to be pricey. Yep. So that will be coming in tomorrow. Uh, did you? Um, that truck is aftermarket. It's billet stage three. So it would have to have, did you check the internals or is it just external? I haven't taken it fully, the uh, mechanic haven't taken it fully apart. He just looked it over. And okay, so he's... what's it going to run me? Uh, let's just do it right. I know it's going to cost more, but let's just do it right. Um, what's it going to cost me for a stage three billet transmission? All right, let me go into this other computer, look it up. So just the bow housing alone, I see right here for about 500 bucks. Okay, what's a brand new tranny cost? Brand new tranny would be about, it's brand new. Yeah, it says about 15 or 20k. Alright, so let me go ahead and... Oop, 15k. Okay. Alright, so that's sort of change. Alright, and then you'll need a new drive staff, which... Wait, let me look at it. Do, 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 do. So the drive staff for the front row drive, the transfer case and everything else is fine. It was just the transmission that got like fucked up. Okay. So the cheapest drive staff would be about a hundred bucks and it comes with everything on it. The U joints and everything, it comes with all that. Yep. Let me check the paperwork and make sure. Okay, so he put the trans down, the drive staff. That's, huh, that's the only two things that he put down for it. Okay. So we get those things in by tomorrow morning, about like 8, 9 o'clock. As soon as we put those in, take it around the block, test drive it, and see every, if everything is all nice and dandy. And then we'll give you a call to come pick it up. Alrighty, thank you. Yep. Alright, so, just got off the phone with the owner. 
um, he was nice enough to loan me a truck just right here checking out some surfboards uh, he loaned me one of his u-hauls which is rather nice of him um, he says the uh, he wants me to come and take a look at the the panel on the car so here in a moment I'm going to head over there all right, so we're going to go ahead and hop into this U-Haul. All right. Now, let's head over to his place. Not in that way, not in that way, all right. Excited to see how this uh, party found works. So hopefully it looks. Well, hopefully it's the same part as the original, because that driver of his. Ugh. <laughs> Hate that driver. I mean, honestly, though, I mean, what right did he really have just to fucking plow into me like that? Uh -huh. All right. Good evening, sir. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. So you called me in about a panel? Yes, so our mechanic, he put the panel and your door on, uh -huh. but it's not yet finished, but it's all on, not painted yet. If you want to, you could take a look at it and see how it looks and see if it's the gap right and uh, where else. Where's it at? Yeah, you can go ahead and follow me. Okay. You go ahead and let it down for you. This is. Well, looks pretty good. So you had to replace the whole door in the front panel, huh? Yeah, it's like, wait. Ah, I stopped getting the car. So right here between the door and the panel. Mm-hmm. It was like a U-shaped dent in it, and that could not be buffed out. So we had just do another panel on there, got the emblem on it. Okay. We can we can just mask off the emblem once we we paint it. Okay. Yep. Uh, sounds like it should work pretty well though. Oh, thank yeah. you for letting me use your U-Haul uh, truck, by the way. Oh, no problem. Yeah, definitely going to get a good view on Yelp, because not many people would uh, allow somebody to use a vehicle for free. Especially one that, you know, the company actually complains about, you know, you actually have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. It's normally nine nineteen ninety five per hour, but since... We had since you had a little incident earlier with one of my co ex co workers that him running into you. Oh, so you did fire him then? Yep. He, he's gone. 
Oh, that's good, because he definitely doesn't need to be driving anything like that, because... I mean, think what would happen if he came out to the farm and plowed into one of my combines or something. I mean, that's... <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how much money you have or you make here, but uh, yeah, those things are hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> oh, I already know. <laughs> so. You had one customer come in like a year ago, and we had to fix a couple things on his combine, and it was like a couple hundred thousand dollars just for that, just for that one part. Wow. You can almost buy a new one here. Let me check on my cell phone real quick. Cause I'm pretty sure you could almost just buy a new one for that. Uh, do you happen to know what model he had? Uh, no. I think it was uh some type of John Deere. It was a John Deere, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna say, depending on what he had on it, like. I'm going to put in these different options here. That could get pretty pricey. Yeah. I'm already looking at like 350000 Yeah, I think something messed up with the track. The track oh, tires. he had tracks on it? Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. If he had tracks on it, about $400,000 for a new one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so he had to get put new tracks on it with uh, tires for it and everything else. So are you guys a certified John Deere repair shop or do you just, like, work on, or, you know, do you just, like, do anything really we pretty much do everything here okay are you like actually everything. certified by deer or yes we're certified and everything else by deer okay well that's a good thing because you know i know this is like my first time being in here but i have a lot of deers <laughs> a lot well if we have any problems with home don't mind i'm bringing them down here uh, yeah, bringing them down might be the problem. Well, um, if you need, like, escorts or something, we can do escorts. No, I'm just saying, like, bring, like bringing... My tractors are all massive. Uh, trying to bring them all the way down here, as far away as my farm is, which obviously you know how far away it is. That's quite a haul. You don't happen to do, like, any, like, in-the-field mechanic work, do you? Yeah, we can do that, too. I mean, obviously, not, like, major repairs, but I'm talking, like, if I just need something, like, welded back on or whatever. Yeah, we can, we can, do, I have a, we have service trucks that go out and do all that. Okay. So, all we're right. here working in the shop, and we're also mobile. Oh, that's good. Um... Does your mobile have different hours, or is it like a 24-hour call service? Mobiles, it depends on holidays. They don't work on holidays. Okay, is there a way I can put myself down as, like, I'll pay extra amount if needed, but if I'm in the middle of harvesting or pulling or, you know, seeding or whatever, and that you obviously, are, do you farm or do you know farmers? I know a couple farmers. Okay, well, then you probably know that there's, come hell or high water, nothing's stopping that, if you can help it, nothing's stopping that from getting in because your windows are limited. So, you know, I can't afford to have the, you know, if I got to pay an extra fee to have somebody come out in the, at two in the morning to fix or replace my turbo or whatever versus having it down for like multiple days, you know, I'll, pay the extra whatever to have it done then and there yeah i think with them if, that, if that's couple, a thing that you can do yeah i think in the next couple of days we're going to end up going 24 hours because okay. right now right now the stop hours are from like 8 a.m to about 6 p.m 
and then our mobile mechanics are from like 5 a.m. to about 10 p.m. normally. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because I think I called... Uh, is there a guy named Phil that works here? Uh, he used to, but he retired. Okay, I was going to say, because Phil came out and fixed my uh, tractor the other night. That was... Uh, just bought the thing. It's pretty new, but apparently it uh, had a piece of metal that got in my turbo, or turbo blade and screwed the Ooh. bearing up. Ooh. So he came out and fixed that real quick. So I was just trying to figure out if that was from here because he didn't give like a name of a business. <laughs> yeah, he's from, yeah, he's from here. He like recently retired a couple of days ago. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, that's good to know then. Um, yeah, because I actually got crop that needs to go on the ground here in a few days, so. You know, somebody on call would definitely be very useful. And I actually yeah. run a warehouse business, so we can actually enter. If you wanted to, we could enter a uh, mutual thing. Because I can actually. I've got trucks and everything else to ship parts if needed. There you go. So I actually have a very large warehouse facility that. I don't know if you caught a glimpse of it or not, but it's over there by where you flip my truck over. Yeah. I think I've seen like a little glance of it. Yeah, so we saw... We also saw diesel, too. Oh, that's pretty nice. Pretty neat. So, yeah, it'd be nice to get into some kind of a business negotiation where, you know, I can ship yeah. your parts to you and ship them into my warehouse, because I... The other where I actually bought out that warehouse. The other warehouse apparently went out of business or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the one that we were normally using, and we we're trying to get contracts to like other facilities and stuff like that for parts, and we haven't really gotten any like good hit hits of it. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely look us up then. Yeah. So I'll actually, uh, when I come back to get the car, uh, because I don't have any cards on me at the moment, uh, when I come back to get the uh, car and my truck, I will uh, make sure I give you a business card. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem, thank you. Well, that guy was very nice. Hopefully we can get some good business going. Can't wait till my truck's gonna be done. Oh yeah, crap, I should call him on the phone real quick. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Hold on one second, my mic just died. It's it. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hey, uh, quick question. When do you think the car and the truck might be done? Like, can you give me a date? I know today's the 12th. It should be, they both should be, uh, the car most likely will be done about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. And the truck will probably estimate it about 10, 11. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. See you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. All right. So... Go over here to this coffee shop. See if there's any cars coming. Nope, we're good. 
Alright, how do I turn this thing on? Head over to the coffee shop. And then once I'm over at the coffee shop. Get some coffee. So I need my coffee. Coffee is very important for farmers. After this, head home. And I'll be back here in the morning. Ah, it is such a lovely morning today. 7.05, sun is bright. I'm here at the gas station. I'm gonna put some fuel into this truck. All right, that should do it. Didn't cost me very much either. So, I'm gonna head to the coffee shop. Get me some coffee. See what's going on. Oh, Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, the owner's here. As you know, it's still COVID. Uh, hi, Chris. How are you doing today? Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Sun's shiny. Yeah, it's a Looking lovely like morning a, today. Yeah. Kind of a little bit nippy right now, but it's going to it's gonna get there. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll be in like the 60s today. Yeah, I was I was checking the weather report. Uh, today's only supposed to be like uh, 61 later on this oh, afternoon, cool. so shouldn't be too bad. Uh oh, it's a little nippy, but it's good for like a sweat shirt weather. Yeah. So you on your way to work then? Yeah, I'm actually getting a couple of some coffee and some donuts, and then I'll be heading to work. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Huh? What? Ask you? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you mind picking up a welder for me at the store? Yeah, sure. I can do that. Oh. Alright, I appreciate it. I would do it. But I don't have much time because I gotta open up the shop, get everything ready. Yeah, you guys open here in like 10 minutes or so, don't you? Or, well, 20 minutes? Is it 7 30 you open or is it 8? Well, I normally get to 7 30, but we don't open a door, we don't really open to public until 8. Okay. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll go get that. Uh, do they already have it, or is it paid for, or...? Yep, it's already paid for. Then you gotta do is just go down there, grab it, and then they said they were loaded onto the truck, so that's a good thing. Okay, yep, I'll go get it now. Alright, I'll have a coffee waiting for you. Oh, thank you. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so hop in here, go get the... Thank you. Have a good day. Ooh, I just glitched. Alright, so we're just gonna head to the store here. Go pick up his welder that he wants. Alright. Almost there. Probably should call him on the... F well, he said they already have the order. So, I'll go ahead and talk to them, see if they got the order for them. Eight. All right, let's see what they got here. Oh, lovely morning. Good evening, sir. I believe you have a welder pickup order for HD Automotive. Yeah. 
Why, yes, we do have the world of HD automotive. Oh, that's great. Is it already uh, paid for then? Yes, looking at the paperwork, so far it looks like it's paid for and it's right in the garage door. I can go ahead and walkie talkie one of the guys and have them bring it out for you and load it up on a truck for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'll just look around then. Yep. Alright, so... What do they got here? Oh, look, they have some bolt cutters. Wow, $3.20 for a bolt cutter. That's not too bad. Now, look at these wrenches. Some pliers. Some signs. Huh. Cutoff wheels, 90 cents. That is not bad. That's a pretty darn good price right there. Wait, that's all cents. What the heck is that symbol? Pounds? Is it pounds? That might be pounds. Which, which one? All right, so they got it all loaded up for me. Oh, huh? looks like a pretty nice Walter. Lincoln Vantage. I got one of those. That's a damn good Walter right there. All right, so now we got his Walter loaded up. Let's go ahead and head to HD. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, such a lovely morning. Oh, I think that's where that new business is going to go in. Yeah, I remember seeing about something about that in the paper a couple days ago. They were going to put in a uh, oh, salt truck team, like city workers. They already got their trucks there. And actually, since I got some time until he opens, let me, let me turn around, because I actually want to go take a look at those trucks. See what kind of trucks they're running. Because they aren't going to open until 8 and 7.15. So we got some time. So they must have bought this, bought this land. Maybe there's parking here. I don't know. Ooh, Fords. Oh, they have the tire chains on them and everything. Bobcat plows. Those trucks look beautiful. What are these over here? Are these also Ford? No, these are internationals. Wow. Got three of those. And two Ford ones. Huh. All right. So. He said he gets there about 7.30, so I don't know if he's there right now or if he's still at the coffee shop. I'll stop at the coffee shop and see if he's there. Because I know his business doesn't usually open yet, but since I got a delivery for him, he probably will. Do, 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 do. There's the dairy farm. All right. Go over to the coffee shop. If his white truck's not there, then obviously he's going to be at his business so yeah the reason he probably needs this Walter is I don't know if his service truck is if he's got a new service truck he didn't say or if it's an older service truck if he's getting a new Walter then more than likely he's probably okay so he's not at the coffee shop Alright, so I know where he is then. He's gonna be at this business. 
for getting her all started up. So, since he's ordering a new welder, he's probably doesn't have, it was probably an old service truck and he's upgrading its equipment or he's bought new. As he mentioned to me, he bought new tow trucks. I'm sure he makes money at the salvage yards, so. Cause he's got all kinds of stuff in there. Not to mention he's got that million dollar house. So, yep, there's his truck. He's here. So, pull up here. Figure out where he wants these. Uh -uh. Chris, you here? Uh uh. Chris? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. On my head. On my side head. On my head. Oh. Hello. How's it going? Uh, not too bad. I saw you had my trucks out there. Yeah, your truck and car is ready. Huh. It, it is kind of expected, but. Yeah. Oh, did, uh, did Steve get my. Uh... Oh, good. Uh, how long has my truck been sitting out here? When did Steve put on the the miller? I think he put it on last night when he got the truck ready. I think they stayed a little bit later than usual okay. to get everything ready for you. I was going to say, because I know I or, or, uh, have purchased another uh, miller um, just as a backup. Yeah. In case something happens to the Lincoln. So... Yeah. But I got, uh, I got your welder over here. So uh, yeah, this is what you wanted, right? Yep, this is exactly one that I ordered. All right. So where, where do you want me to back the truck up so we c uh, to offload this? Um, if you come up on this side. Okay. And then go around to the, the first. The third bay. Well, I mean, did you have a truck you or a thought a truck? Did you have a truck you wanted to mount it on, or did you just want to uh, offload it into the building? I gotta know if you mm -hmm. had an actual truck you wanted to put her on, because I assume you probably don't have the same service truck since you're buying new equipment now, like a lot of it. So I assume it's probably going on a truck. I guess we could probably put it on the back of this one for now. Is this your, gonna be your service vehicle or? Nah, it's just, it's my daily, but just until I get service trucks and then I can swap it over to the service trucks. Oh, you still got one on order? What, the service trucks? Yeah. Yeah, I got one on order. They said it won't be there until about like over next week or something. Like in a couple of days. Oh, lovely. Um, yeah. You know, you ought to talk it's, to them. Here's here's my business card. Uh, talk to them about shipping it to my warehouse because we might actually be able to get it in faster. Oh, okay. Because I assume that they're probably trying to ship it themselves, but we can go pick it up at the dealership and uh, deliver it so we can like cut time out of that if they're trying to do it themselves because they got to find themselves a driver and find a truck that's capable of going that direction then it's just a yeah. hassle if you have yeah. you know ties with an actual warehouse that has all the equipment then we could probably go and get that for you pretty quickly yeah, because they told me within a couple, next couple days or a couple weeks, like next week or a couple weeks. It just kind of depends on them. Yeah. Um, if you want to go in your office there and give them a call, because um, I actually might be able to, depending on where it's at, I could probably actually just go get it today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me go get them a call real quick. I think they should be open. Oh yeah, they're if 
if it's the uh, Ford dealership, so you know they they take forever on shipment. But like I said, though, since yeah, you I mean, you know people that has a warehouse, then I could probably go to the Ford dealership and go pick it up. Yeah, you could do that. So all I just need to know are the specifics. Uh, what VIN, uh, the last six of the VIN of what I'm getting. And then, uh, but you can uh, text that to me on my phone. It'll, and then I can get the information. I know what you meant. So, and then you could just send me the details. So, uh, what do you want me to, so do we just offload this welder here then? And then... Like, is there a specific spot you want it then, or do you just wanna, you want me to take it with me and I'll just throw it on your new truck or what? Um, I guess would it probably be easier if you just take it with you and throw it on the truck. Okay. Uh, are the keys in my truck? Yes. All right, let me go over here then. Well, let me check if he put them inside the drawer. Uh, no, I don't see him in the drawers. I think he probably put them in the gas tank. Oh, I got him. He le he left them in here. Okay, cool. Ooh, she sounds better. All right, so let me back up over here then move the miller over and get yours up here all right so got that all loaded up for him um your U-Haul truck, do I just park that around the side or should I just leave it up here? Uh, you can leave it there. Okay. All right. I'll fill up, have him come and get my uh, the car's done. Uh, Chris, where'd you go? Hello? Hello? Oh, you're in here. Hey! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the car, um, it's ready to go too, right? Yes, the car's done too. Alright, thank you. Yep, no problem. Alright, so I'm gonna call my buddy up. And see if he can come and get the car. So let me find out. All right. All right, Mike. Be easy on the clutch, man. Don't break my car. You know how hard it was to build this thing. You were right there helping me. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Well, I'll move out of your way so you can take off. You wanna have a little fun with it, I guess that's fine. Don't wreck. Let me get out of your way here. Jeez, Mike! Freaking laying into the fucking pedal like that. I saw that! Oh, you're gonna get an earful from me, boy. Freaking flooring my car. <clears throat> Jeez. Maybe a drag car. It's not freaking supposed to run like that. Man, you're milking the clutch and everything! Oh, you are gonna so get fired. If only you're an employee, I'd fire you. Holy 
crap, Mike! Look at it! Look at him just ripping up that road! Oh, he is so gonna get it. Alright, so we're gonna head back to... Let's go back to the farm. And get a truck ready to go get uh, Chris's new service truck. Get that all set up. So, see you guys here in a few. Yeah. All right, thanks, Fred. Bye bye. All right, so just got off the phone with Fred. Uh, he is actually going to. They're moving Chris's truck from the Ford dealership down to the class store. So I can actually just pick it up from there for him. And that should uh, help out quite a bit. So I'm back here at my house. I'm actually going to back into my garage here and drop off this Miller. And that I ordered. And after I drop that off, I'm going to move my car in here real quick. And then load the trailer up. And we'll go get the truck for Chris. Alright, so now that that's loaded on, I'm going to go ahead and hop in my truck here. Pull it back out. Man, Mike is so fired. At least nothing's broke on it, but I got a race coming up and I cannot afford to have my car destroyed. The race for today, actually, I had to cancel. Due to, I wasn't sure my car was going to get done in time, but honestly, it got done a lot faster than I thought it was going to. So, definitely going to give them a good review on Yelp, for sure. Because I honestly was not expecting them to get that thing done that fast. So, and this is actually a temporary car. Um, because I actually am putting in a secret test. That is not my only drag car. I have actually been working on two others. My Hellcat. Which I know is dirty. It's because I was running the crap out of it, getting her all tuned up. And then I have... My Mustang. This thing is also highly powered and rare to go. So I'm not sure which car I'll actually enter into the drag race. Um, I'll probably run the Chevelle first, but I'll take one of those two just in case, because you never know. Chevelle could get beat. So I'm going to go over here. Grab this trailer. Go ahead and get his loader welded onto it real quick. See you guys in a moment. Alright, so got his welder loaded up there, so we're going to hop into my truck and get hooked up. my mirrors out so I can see what I'm doing. All right. 
right, so now that we got the jack up, we're all hooked up, cables connected. Let's go and get us a get us a truck to go deliver. So let me get my destination here. Oop. So I called again real quick. It is affirmed that it has been dropped off. So should be able to go get it all nice and tidily. This trailer is definitely big enough to be able to carry it. So I'm sure Chris will be very happy when I drop his vehicle off. Concerningly, I told him multiple, well, anywhere from a few days to a matter of weeks to and like potentially a month might have been thrown in there too, so I'm sure he's gonna be very happy when I deliver it. So uh, I'll head to the store. To you guys, of course, it'll be instantaneous. So <laughs> you'll see it in a moment. All right, so right here by Klaus. So, let's turn in here. We'll pull up over here and go talk to the guy inside. Uh, go talk to him real quick. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How about you? Uh, not too bad. So, came here to pick up that uh, truck out front. Uh, that's for HD, I believe. Uh, yes, yes, it's for HD. All right, here's the keys. Oh, there's also okay. another set of car keys. Oh, yep, okay. And then I think that should be it. All right, thanks very much, man. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So let's get this F450 King Ranch. Huh. Let's get this Betty fired up. <laughs> I get to get in it first, dibs. <laughs> All right. So we're going to drive this over to the trailer. So I'm gonna get the welder on this for Chris. And we'll get it going. All right, so we got that all loaded up for him. So now we're just gonna hop in here. Get her up on the trailer. About there should be good. All right, thanks, man. Oh, my wife is going to kill me. So, I was in here talking to this gentleman, and uh, he had a 24 foot PJ trailer, lightly used, I mean, lightly used, that was sitting around the side of the building that he was wanting to sell. Um, he was looking for an aluminum framed big tex. So I ended up doing a little trade with him. And look at this beauty. I mean, this thing looks gorgeous. I mean, I like the big tex, but honestly, it was just a little too long. I needed something a little bit shorter. And he just happened to have this, so. It worked out. So we're going to go ahead. 
and get Chris's truck loaded up. And then once we get this loaded up, we're going to, he actually included uh, a set of wheel chocks for me, which was really nice. Um, I was actually talking to him and he said he might have a line on a 40 footer as well if I wanted it for vehicle hauling. Um, so I'm actually going to look into that. But he said he has wheel chocks, so uh, let me go in here and grab those wheel chocks and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the wheel chocks on her. So we got uh, Chris's truck all nice and chalked up. It's not going nowhere. So let's go ahead, get my hydraulic. The other thing is it's got nice lift gate system. So let's go ahead and head on out. So we're going to Chris's business, whoops. All right, now before I leave, um, need to have Chris send me the VIN number information so I can confirm it. Uh, just because they said this is the right truck, I just want to make sure. All right. Yep. He's got the right truck. So let's head on. Yeah, so I'm actually also talking to him about a dump bed. Um, trailer. He said he can order them for me. They're brand new. Uh, he hasn't even got one in yet to, like, set out. So, when he gets one in, um, I'm going to see about ordering some of those. Because, I mean, this is a true, like, hydraulic lift gate do bed system so the entire end of the trailer will you know lift up and dump which would be pretty cool um, for running crops and stuff and he said it also he can get a pup that goes that will attach to the back of it um, if I want the pup um, I can either get it in a six axle configuration or a five axle configuration with the pup. So I'm not sure which configuration. Like I said, I'll wait and see when he gets them. Um, he said probably a little closer to the 16th he should have one in. So when he gets one in, I'll make sure I check it out. This, that would definitely be very useful for me to have. Get some. Uh, major crop sales going because they have a lot larger capacity than even the JM's and the JM's you can't really drive that fast like they're good for around the farm but OTR you know you can only go about 35 mile an hour and that, that would take a while to get to a sell point so something like this would definitely pan out a lot better and I've already got a heavy hauler Peterbilt so I'll make sure I get that checked out um, he said it'll give me a call if he gets it in earlier, but right now we're looking at probably the 16th. So, just now pulling into Chris's place. Uh, looks like he was doing some mowing. So, go figure out where he's at. Go. And he really did do decent job at this lawn too. Oh, there he is. Hey, 
Chris? Stop. Yeah, I got your uh, truck here. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Yeah, you like my new trailer? Oh, you got the trailer too? Yeah. He had a deal on it, I just couldn't refuse. That's good. That's I mean, really good. Said he only used it once and it's just been sitting sitting out as a uh show vehicle well, or show trailer more or less. Ah, oh, and it's a PJ trailer? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. fancy. They're in the wheel chocks and everything to haul your truck, so let me get those off real quick. Yeah, so you can uh, check out your new truck. All right, so got those off for you. So you want to test her out? Drive her off? Yeah. There he goes to go test her. Hopefully he enjoys the fact that it uh, arrived quite a bit earlier than anticipated. So what do you think of her? That was pretty good. I like it. That's exactly what you ordered? Yep. Definitely exactly what I got. That's a good thing, because sometimes Ford screws up your uh, online orders. I know they did with mine. Um, you see these beadlocks? Yeah. It wasn't supposed to be beadlocks. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, this truck was, uh, it was supposed to be a dually, originally. That's so, pretty weird. Yeah. Huh. So, I gotta look in, uh, still waiting on them to freaking send me the replacement parts, because it's on their dime. Yeah, they should never put those on it if you never ordered it. Well, they're also talking about they might just like trade out the truck and give me a different truck. So. Yeah. Just have to see what happens, I guess. But yeah, sometimes you gotta be, you gotta be careful because some things can kind of get messed up sometimes. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that mine turned out a pretty good way that I did. Well, it helps when you have a warehouse rush the order. Yeah. So, it literally, apparently, according to my contact, it literally just got into the lot, like off the line, right as soon as I freaking called them to shift the drop off location. They didn't even have it made yet. Like, you calling them earlier. They like rushed to make it because <laughs> they weren't going to make it for like a couple weeks. Oh damn! So you know, as soon as, as soon as one of the large warehouses, you know, pressures them into it, 
they uh, they get their butt in gear and get shit done. So. Yeah, well, that's a good thing that I got my truck card nice, and now I can start going 24 hours. Yep. All right. Well, pleasure doing business with you. And uh, make sure you stop Do by I... the farm so you can check out the warehouse and all that so you can see our facility. Uh, yeah, I definitely will do that. Do I owe you anything for picking the truck up? Nope. It's not uh, considering you the fact that you're, uh, you know, looking at doing a contractual agreement with, you know, me delivering your stuff. Besides, I got the PJ out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. So, yep, you have a good one. All right, you too. Oh, and by the way, if you see a bill appear for a PJ trailer, that's what you owed me. What do you mean? Oh, uh, it was like 400 bucks. You want me to give it to you now? No, 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 no. I'm saying I ordered it, like I traded the guy in and he put it on your tab. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, he said he had to put it on your tab for some reason, because apparently it was your trailer that you had ordered and never picked up. And he said you said you didn't want it or something, or one of your guys said that, that you didn't want it. So he's just had it sitting up there for a few weeks now. Uh, maybe one of my guys probably ordered it from themselves and then probably put it under the company's name. Yeah, you might want to contact him about that because if somebody ordered something under your name, that's not exactly a good thing. Yeah, but I think it's the one that got fired. It's the one that ran into your car this morning. Well, yesterday morning. Yeah, it could have been. Alright. Well... You take care, and uh, if he charges you any more than 400, just let me know, and I'll pay the difference. Okay, okay. All right, have a good one. You too. All right, so just gonna head back to the house. Get nice and turned around here. Get my house loaded up into my GPS. And, yep. Gonna head home and see you guys when I get there. Alrighty, just got to my place. Gonna go ahead and back this trailer out. Go ahead. Get some get some quality time with the missus. Cause I haven't seen her in a little bit, but I'm rather busy, you know, getting trucks and stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night everybody. <laughs>